Hello, welcome to another video tutorial on VB.NET. Today we are going to create an amortization calculator in VB.NET. Basically, amortization is the process of reducing the value of an asset or the balance of a loan by a periodic amount. This to say that each time you make a payment on a loan, you pay some interest along with the part of the principal. So, this is the formula for calculating amortization. So basically what we're looking for is the amount uh, per month to pay in a period of maybe, let's say, six to five years or such. So let's get our hands dirty. Basically, you will need the principal amount here, principal amount, interest rate here, and uh, the period to pay back the loan here. So open your Visual Studio. Depending on the operating system you're using, you may have a couple of formulas to open it. So here, I'm running Visual Studio Community 2017 edition. So I'm going to create a new project gonna be a visual basic but we keep watch of my cursor eh, so that we keep together Windows classic desktop make sure it's a Windows forms application give it a name here I'm gonna name mine amortization yeah and uh, click OK so Visual Studio gives you one window by default, so I'm going to just start working, working on the form immediately. So under properties, I like beginning with where it will launch, it will launch from center screen. I don't want to minimize, I don't want to maximize, and uh, I want to name my form to main window. The text is going to be amortization calculator. Yeah, sure. And I don't want it to be sizable. I want it to be in a fixed state. So that is basic setup of the form. Uh, I'm going to need four, four water, three. Actually, three three labels. Yeah, label one, two, and three. Actually, I need one more. Here, yeah, label four. So label one is gonna tell us what, or it's gonna carry the title of this app, which is. Amortization calculator. Yes, that's going to be the title. I'm going to change something here. Make it or make it 16. Yeah, I'll make it 16. Uh, I'm gonna just reposition it using the app and uh, the arrow keys actually. And uh, get back here. I need three three text boxes. One, two, three. So here they are. The first one is gonna align with that. Yeah. Yes. Uh, just make sure they align. 
perfectly of course a good developer makes sure their design is attractive to the eye yeah so this first label is gonna be what this is gonna be the principle which is capital P the second one will be rate capital R and uh, the last one will be the period period in years yeah and, uh, just a couple of more resizing here Finally, we need a button. Go back to your toolbox and uh, fetch a button. You can resize it using the shift key and uh, the arrow keys. And uh, this button will bear the content what car. Calculate, yeah. And uh, one more thing, I'm gonna name my text boxes so that I may able to, I may be able to call them. And actually, this should be index zero, index one, index two, and index three. So this one will be txt for text box principle this one will be txt rate is it yeah rate this one will be txt uh, maybe yes yeah and that's uh, basically the design of the soft of the software uh, in terms of the graphic user interface so let's <coughs> let's get into the sorry about that let's get into the coding part of it double click on the button then uh, i'm gonna create a couple of variables that will hold the that will hold the data from the form the first one will be principal, it will be held in the txt principal.txt. I also need annual rate, it's also a double value. It's held by the txt rate.txt dimension uh, years as uh, do we have point something years or maybe just for the purpose of it let's use double data type it's in the txt years dot text then uh, we need to do some conversion because from the form from the formula here you see the, the number of payment periods should be in terms of months but mostly you find that you're given a period of maybe six years or ten years but you don't pay after the ten years you pay after a particular period maybe in terms of months so we're gonna do some uh, conversions here we're going to convert this rate into monthly rates so i'm going to have here monthly monthly rate is double this will be equal to some mathematics here it's going to be equal to annual rate by 12 because we have 12 months in an year 
then we're going to divide that by a hundred. Uh huh. Then I'm gonna have another one. Dimension number of months. Months as double. Of course, we can have two point three months. That's maybe two months and three weeks. If I'm not wrong. Years multiply by twelve. And uh, that's pretty it with the variables. Oh, I forgot one variable here that will hold the final amount, which is dimension amount is not integer double. Maybe we can initialize it to zero. Well, basically, you can just leave it depending on how you like it. Then amount will be equal to a monthly monthly rate multiplied by one plus monthly rate exponential number of months there so remember this is basically a translation of this formula here this is exactly what i'm translating there and um, so a computer will not really understand this because you, you really need to use brackets so that it's able to know what it is calculating at what stage and at what point so the next one is the denominator one plus monthly rate exponential the number of months and uh, I think we can put this in their own bracket and uh, minus one minus one close that again in brackets then here uh, we're gonna multiply all these by the principal now we need now to display the answer so we're gonna launch a message box telling us the answer so put this in brackets yeah and uh, that's pretty it that's the simple software so you can launch it here start and uh, here it is so maybe answering this question now here what what would be the what would the monthly payment be on an year on a five year twenty thousand dollar car loan with a nominal seven point five percent annual interest rate. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take that again. What would the monthly payment be on a five year twenty thousand car loan with a nominal seven point five percent annual interest rate? And I forget about these assumptions here. Back to the software the principal is 20,000 at a rate of 7.5 and the period in years is 5 years then I hit on calculate and that is pretty it 400.75 all that so let's mark for ourselves this is a uh, answer to that question they say you can use the amortization calculator below to determine the payment amount which is abbreviated as a to b 400.76 dollars per month and uh, i think that is pretty what we got 
400.75 over it. If you round it off to the nearest, to the nearest what? Is it a cent or a dollar? <laughs> to the nearest cent. Or pretty what it is. That's 400.76. Here, 400.76. So thank you for watching this video. Remember to hit on subscribe button for more videos and uh, also visit our website. It's uh, snippet.co.ke. We are based in Kenya and uh, we are a team of developers. You can view our services and uh, if you're pretty interested in any of them, just down here contact us just leave a message just leave a comment or a question or anything then uh, i'm done with this video let me know what you guys want to see next and uh, i'll see you then thank you